Okay, so we did intrusive igneous rocks. Uh, intrusive igneous rocks are uh, they're formed underneath the surface in magma, which is unlike uh, extrusive because those are formed uh, at the surface, they're cooled there, while um, intrusive ones are formed underground. Uh, what are these rocks made of? Silica is the main component, and for it, for example, in granite, silica is seventy five percent of it. And here's a picture of a crystal of silica. Uh, how are these rocks made? Well, as I said before, uh, they're formed when magma cools um, underneath the surface, and they're solidified there as well. This is magma. And then here is a couple pictures. You can like see the crystals in them, which cool. Yeah, these ones are very grainy. Uh, you can tell yeah. multiple colors and crystal-like and grainy are the two uh, ways to describe it. Uh, where can these be found in California? Uh, Joshua Tree and Yosemite are the two areas where you can find them. Thank you. Thank you. Any thoughts, team? I thought you guys did a good job projecting it was good good volume, which I think is what are the names of the main rocks? Like the the, the actual name. The type that fall under the category. Oh, uh granite, um granite, diorite, and gabbro. I would say it's. An, I like that you had the compositional breakdown of which one did you say again? It was you were talking yeah, about yeah. the amount of silica for granite. Yeah, and I think it would have been nice to do a little bit of that breakdown for gabbro and for diorite for all the intrusive igneous, um, or like maybe showing them on like a spectrum or something where you can kind of see the, the differences and look. But um, I thought some really solid information. Any other thoughts, team? All right, well then, thank you so much, team. Nice. Okay.